Well, all right. Well, all right. We're uh, on a Wednesday, geo-guessing. I got so much mail that just came in. What is this? Oh, we're going to see live on air. Potential job application finding out. My phone takes a long time to update. Wait, that one I didn't get. Pretty common for me, whatever. Start the challenge with a diverse world. Um, yeah, that happens a lot with looking at jobs. You're very much never going to get the ones you go for. The odds of them. Or at least getting the one you want. Or really any, you know. It's pretty low. But... It really depends on your uh, outlook. Some hot, tired dogs. And your attitude toward them. There was a very long time, and kind of still is now, but granted, I mean, the job I have now, I'm pretty happy with. And now it's just kind of like, uh, well, this one seems interesting, and if I don't get it, I'm really happy with the one that I got. Um, yeah, just like... Longest time I had a job, didn't like it, and I was just like, eh, that sucks. I'm never going to get any job, I'm never going to get anything better than what I got. I was stuck for a real long time. Um, this is when I would try to loop in, I will survive, but I'm really concerned that I'm not going to remember the first couple words, and then the effect's kind of gone. But, you know, at first I was afraid, I was petrified, feeling I couldn't live without a job on my side. It doesn't really make any sense after a certain point. Um, I looked at that sign, and it did not even register what I was um, seeing here. We are in a holiday in Cambodia, I believe. This is, it's, it just seems to be a continuing issue of I can't remember what flag is what, and at some point I'm going to have to remember or just... Be okay with the fact that I got a, I got a dumb brain, and it's, oh, that's going to help. And it's just, you know, deciding, no way, you're not, you're not going to remember ever. But anyway, um, yeah, I was stuck in a job that paid enough, but not enough to really, like, do much with it. I was paying all my bills. Everything was getting done. I wasn't, like, struggling in that sense, but then actually, like, Saving up for anything. You know, the things you're supposed to do as an adult. Everyone told you as a kid, hey, get a house. You know, save for retirement. You know, all of that dumb shit. It was very much like, okay, I could save for retirement. Maybe $100 a year at a time. I mean, that's a little exaggerating, but when you feel like, ah, it all just sucks. I keep trying different things and I'm not getting them. And then I ended up where I am now. And I'm like, oh, this is great. And making the most I've ever had at a job. It's working out well. And now when I don't get a thing, it's not like the end of the world. It's just kind of like, oh, that sucks. But in the end, what I'm doing now is great. It's affording me not to have high levels of stress that I did for a very long time. And it, 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 I'm, I'm very happy that it happened. Now, is this a highway sign? Anyway, that, that sent me on a unexpected opening to the video. How are we all doing? We're uh, on our Wednesday here, just doing Diverse World, like I said before. I've kind of reset myself here. Um, sweating a bit. Oh, this is a gas station, huh? Okay. Um, yeah. How are we doing? Thank you for watching and your continued support and discourse with me. I've, uh, Got myself a few new people this week. It's like a jump that I haven't had in a while. I mean, it's 51 people. That's not much, but hey, it's not. I'm not going into this for trying to set records or anything. I'm just happy with what I have. I mean, this clearly is not a pursuit of hoping that I can actually get this to be something where, oh, all I'm going to do is just record GeoGuessr videos, maybe some other stuff. and 
make my living off that. That's clearly not going to happen. I do not have, I have the charisma of a cardboard box. Um, but I'm very much appreciative of all the viewings and the new people. Thank you all for watching. If you guys have any suggestions for maps or anything else, maps you want me to play, other things you want me to take a look at, put them in the comments below. So that's our, is that a, no, that is S-A-L-O-N. Oh, it's a salon. Gotcha. Weird looking salon. But yeah, leave in the comments below. I will look at and potentially do a series of videos on it. And by potentially, I'm pretty much going to. It's a magazine. G Vogel. Piva? Hmm. Is that beer? Are Rusli? I don't know. This is somewhere in Russia, but I have no idea where. I'm not seeing any letters that aren't Russian. Maybe that potentially. What is this guy doing? It looked like he was sawing with a really long saw. Um. Anything else? Wait, that's in English. The village. Now I wonder what the uh, logic is as far as like naming things. I mean, that's the village. Who is that for? Everyone here seems to speak Cyrillic. Every other sign is in Cyrillic, but that one just happens to say English on there. I know English seems to be one of the most common languages that they teach non-English speakers as like their first, second language. It's not the case everywhere, but it's pretty common. Okay, yeah, that's a U Y O O T R E S T. So this is Russia. I mean, I don't know if that's a symbol they use in non-Russian either. But I'm just sticking with Russia for now. We do have a tank, which seems to symbolize Ves V E C H N A Y A Vechia. Vechia. This is something that I feel I should know. We are. Commemorating something that happened here. That's a hammer and sickle. So this is at least part of the uh, Soviet Socialist Republic. I don't know much about their military history with their tanks. This is a photo shop or salon, whatever. Photo salon, it seems like. Hmm. Give me something else to go on here. This is a big flat, like, market area here, but I'm not really getting much else here. Maybe there's a sign here that'll tell me. I got 30 seconds. Kosolnogova? Kosolnogova? P-O-O-C-H Pushkina? Pushkina. Pushkin. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to click outside of Moscow. Ok. Tia. Raskia. I don't know. Kaya. Raskaya. Ot. Ya. This. Ugh. I'm not going to get that in one second. How far off? I'm oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, we're down here in the Crimea. Oh, I did the thing again. Oh, I know. Commands. W. We've closed the tab. Aha. Keyboard commands. Oh, we're near the Volna. Okay. Moving on. Hmm. Uh, taxis. Is this Lisbon? Lisboa bungalows. Is there a Lisbon in Lisboa? Now I'm con concerned that Lisboa is actually maybe not Lisbon. Isn't that a Spanish? This is me overthinking again that Lisboa is actually a Spanish town and we're not actually in Portugal. This is just me overthinking so hard. I don't really see a good sign of like that map's telling us where we are. So 
Estenahora. They got burgers here for nine euros. Portugal part of the EU. Okay, I gotta pick. I gotta pick away. Hmm. Now that seems to be the outskirts of town. We're gonna go this way. Ibis. Well, the Iberian Peninsula is where Spain and Portugal are. However, that doesn't tell me anything. This might. We have Amadora, Algez, and Lisboa. Man, I am. Hmm. Alfred Gied. None of this stuff is. Okay. EN117. EN is that a highway? We have E1. Is there. I don't even know if that's like a, a road sign or what, but I'm just going to click in Lisbon for now and just kick myself in the face when I end up not being in Portugal and I'm finding Lisboa in Spain. Like, if you guys are screaming at me now, okay, dot PT. <laughs> All right. I feel a little better now. Lisboa, I believe that's, like I said, Lisbon in Spain. We have the A1 North. A1 North, where are we? Why am I not seeing the A1? C A2. This is my curse with this game. I think I remember one time getting a spot over here. This might have been 100 videos ago at this point, Jesus. I know at least we're coming up to... Oh, there's the ends. Let's go back. I want to see if uh, I can see that um, stop sign. Did I go too far? I did not. I know I mentioned before I'm coming up on the uh, anniversary of the busted collarbone and the extended break I took almost to the point of just being done. EN117. East, North 117. That's how I'm interpreting this as. Again, 116, 115, no 117. I hate you. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, I'm so, I'm so flustered. 117, okay. We have EN117. Can I find EN117? I'm looking for Alf Amadora. Amadora. So we're down here somewhere. I'm going to say, I think, you know, Alfred Geed is, okay, I wasn't that far off. We are near the Lisbo camping and bungalows. Bunglaos. This makes me feel like we're in Brazil. Now my right, we're going to see right now, we're not finding out right now. Hmm. Let's take a look for some URLs. This is our normal process for finding out where we are. Te, hmm, that could be Mexico now. See, looking at that tree did not help me. Oh, we've got, yeah, we're Brazil. Okay. Now, the problem is, where in this giant goddamn country are we? Oliver Transportes. That's a big speaker. Back when that used to be the thing that you would do in high school. Well, especially when I was in school. I don't know how big it is now of just getting an obnoxiously large uh, cardboard box, covering it with some sort of felt carpet with some MTX. Uh, let's see if I can remember any other brands. Pioneer. Uh, God, all the rest are blanks. Kenwoods. I think I had Kenwoods in my truck. You know, right before Fast and the Furious came out and everyone wanted to be the tuner culture. I was doing it before. It was cool. Because that's the thing to hang my hat on. I traded my gas-powered remote control car 
for a muffler to put on my Mazda B2200. Oh, good times. It's just redneck. It would not fit on my truck, so I just used a bunch of duct tape around the inside and outside of the exhaust pipe I bought. That itself wouldn't fit on in the undercarriage of the truck, so we manually bent it over pieces of wood instead of being it form fitted at a garage because that costs money and who's got money? Definitely not me. So it just kind of like pinched off in the uh at the bends. <laughs> And the duct tape worked for maybe 20 minutes, and then it got so hot that all the duct tape melted, and it was just basically hanging inside the pipe. But it was hanging in such a way that enough exhaust was going through the pipe, so it would do the noise that everybody thought was cool. And I wanted to be cool. Kind of missed that truck. But when I went to college, your first year in college, you weren't allowed to have a vehicle at the university I attended, so I left it. I think I ended up selling it to the garage I grew up next to, and then, oh, this may tell us the town we're in. Pereira, Lima. It doesn't, and I don't think this is Peru. If this turns out to be Peru, I'm going to be very miffed. Does this kind of have a regional map? Does this look like the north? coast of Brazil. Maybe we're in Sao Luis. I think I'm overthinking this and this is not the actual part of the country we're in, but I've got nothing to go on other than just having the country right. It'd be hilarious if I got it right, but what are you going to do? It's about guessing ge geographically. Another thing I did see right before I started this is they may be changing how the game works for free people. Okay, yeah, we were further south, whatever. That certain maps may be hard, be blocked for free users. Not actually, I think at this point I really should just... That's a really cool view. End up just paying for the uh, non-free version just because I've used this enough. All right. Is this Mongolia? Because I remember Mongolia was this type of vehicle before. Um, nothing here is telling me anything. I feel this is Mongolia. E O G S A R. Like I remember the little square octagonal building that the, uh, other last Mongolian place we were at had. I feel this is probably Mongolia. This is really cool looking though. Let's get us over to this road sign and take a look. Nothing here says Mongolia. Or if it does, I can't read it. <laughs> like maybe maybe I can make it. No, I can't. Um yeah, I think this, th just like trying to figure out Greenland ones now, looking at the vehicle that's uh, driving us here, I think is actually going to help us figure out reason. Yeah, that's also that weird backwards three. So we're in Mongolia. I don't know where. Maybe we're on a border town. This is, I want to know what this built, this, this thing's called. There's like no trees here. Like, it reminds me of Iceland, but I don't know if, like, maybe it never actually had any, or they just cleared them all out, because, you know, they talk about the nomadic plains and whatnot, so this probably didn't have much in the way of trees, and I like how most people are just like, nah, fuck, fuck roads, man. We're uh, making our own roads. I'm going to go into the town here. I got a minute 40. I got to remember not to... uh Oh, wait, I had an arrow key. Here we go. Turn, thank you. Let's go into town. Get me into town, please. Into town. Come on. We've got 
Cows? All right, I'm going to pick a place. We're not in Ulaanbaatar. Now, what is the second biggest city in Mongolia? I don't know. Because you can usually tell the biggest cities by how far you're zoomed out and capital showing, but everything else isn't, so... Uh, maybe we're... I'm going to say we're, like, near this. Hmm... Let's just click here. I mean, I got the country right. I mean, if I was smarter, I would just guess in the center of the country and be safe, but we're not. I feel that this is a landmark attraction of some sort, and I'm not seeing this sign. IP? I'm, like, seeing if maybe one of these shows up, but... Like APM, I'm just looking for APM. I'm not seeing it. I see, I see AL, but oh, the Gobi, the Great B, huh? The Gobi Desert's down there. Great Gobi A. Yeah, I'm not seeing AMA thing anywhere or a APM actions per minute. Or if it is, it's. Where were we? Oh, okay. What are we near? It doesn't say? You think that thing is cool enough it would have its own, uh, like, little thing on the map, but I guess not. Well, wow, that ended a little faster than I thought. Points weren't great, mainly because of Brazil and Russia, but, you know, what's, what else is new? That's going to happen. Um, that's going to do it for our Wednesday. My throat's a bit parched. I'm going to have myself a drink and a salad to celebrate. That's what my life is now. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you could, like I said earlier, like, favorite, comment, subscribe. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, maps, ideas, or anything else, leave them in the comments below. I will get back to them as soon as I can. Um, yeah, middle of the week's done. Friday's going to come up way sooner than you think. Seems to be what I say every Wednesday. But it kind of just happens. Anyway. We'll see you soon. Goodbye.